you know, it, it, the, the, the role has an imaginative spirit to it. This is a man that is part, part human, part uh, robot. Idris Elba is a British actor, producer, singer, rapper, and DJ. Over the course of his career, he's appeared in a range of television series, films, and theater productions. In addition, he's an established voice actor and director. Idris Elba has won many awards over the years, and he's been nominated for countless others. He's received four Golden Globe Award nominations and five Primetime Emmy Award nominations. Idris Elba is frequently mentioned by various publications in their lists of the most beautiful people in the world, and he's earned a spot on Time's list of 100 most influential people in the world. In one of the biggest franchises in the world with Jason and Dwayne and David Leach, a good team, and the production team, Vanessa Kirby. I mean, it was great. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Idrissa Akuna Elba, but is also known as Idris Elba, DJ Big Driss, Big Driss the Londoner, Big Driss, Seven Dub, Me In It. He was born September 6, 1972 in London, England, making him 49 at the time of this production. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall or 1.898 meters. As a rapper and musician, Idris Elba has collaborated with artists such as Jay-Z, Pharoah Manch, Fino, Loose Tapestries, Skepta, Debanj, Madonna, McLemore and Ryan Lewis, Wiley, Taylor Swift, and Jay Robinson. Elba often appears in music videos for other artists and he sometimes directs them as well. In 2017, Idris Elba reportedly enraged his neighbors after adding an extensive basement studio to his 2.5 million pound Hackney home. At the time, Elba planned to open the studio for 15 hours a day, enabling him to work with a variety of artists. Neighbors complained because the previous owner was notably quieter than Elba. He was listed by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2016, in September 2018, he was one of the 50 people named for making London awesome and helping to shape London's cultural landscape who were featured in Time Out to mark the magazine's 50th anniversary. In the 2020 and 2021 editions of The Power List, he was listed in the top 100 of the most influential people in the UK of African slash African Caribbean descent. He was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2016 New Year Honours for services to drama. In 2017, he won the male title for the Rear of the Year Award in Britain. He has said that he's spiritual but not religious. In 2009, Elba was selected as the spokesman and anti-crime ambassador for the Prince's Trust, a charity created by British Royal Prince Charles. His role was to steer British youth from a life of crime. In fact, the charity even supported Elba when he himself was a youth, giving him a grant. In 2013, Elba was entering an award show when Oasis member Liam Gallagher tried to grab his hat. Elba was not happy with the gesture, and a physical altercation almost ensued. Gallagher has a different story of the incident and says that it was Elba who actually tried to muss up his hair. Elba is not all about the movies. He's also dabbled in voice acting. Elba's voice was featured in one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises of all time, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. In 1999, Elba married his first wife, Han Kim Norgard. By 2003, the marriage had ended in divorce, although the pair had one child together. In 2006, he got married to Sonia Nicole Hamlin. However, the pair divorced after being married for four months. While in a relationship with his girlfriend named Nayana Garth, Elba had another child. In 2019, he married Sabrina Dowry, a Somali Canadian. Reason has to have a good side. You know, it can't be all bad, all evil. It has to be something to make him that way or her that way, you know? He was born to parents of Sierra Leonean and Ghanaian heritage. 
His father, Winston, who worked for a Ford Motor Factory in Dagenham, was from Sierra Leone, and his mother, Eva, was from Ghana. Idris soon became interested in acting at a young age while also cultivating a passion for music. Eventually, he started his own DJ business. He attended National Youth Music Theater, initially pursuing a music career before starting to audition for acting roles in his 20s. Elba shortened his name to Idris while attending school at Canningtown. It was during this time that he got involved in acting. His first role was in the play The Stage, which he had landed after answering an advertisement in a newspaper. He also started a DJ company with his friends. He then received a grant from the Prince's Trust, due to which he was able to get a place in the National Music Theater. Idris Elba started his acting career in 1994 with roles in British television series such as Crime Watch, Bramwell, Absolutely Fabulous, The Bill, and Family Affairs. After appearing in Ultraviolet and Dangerfield, Elba decided to relocate to New York City. Once in the United States, he established himself with a theater role in a production of Troilus and Cressida. Next came a supporting role on the show Law & Order before Elba landed one of his most well-known roles in The Wire. The role of Russell Stringer Bell from 2002 to 2004 made him a well-known figure in the United States. In 2009, he landed a recurring role in The Office, a six-episode arc, later appearing in the season finale as well. Also in 2009, he booked the lead role in Luther, a psychological crime drama series. In 2010, Idris Elba appeared in The Big C. He then booked the lead role of Charlie in the Netflix comedy series Turn Up Charlie, although it was canceled after just one season. Outside of television, Idris has a long list of film credits to his name. One of his first major roles was in 2007's Daddy's Little Girls, a romantic comedy. Further roles in films like 28 Days Later and This Christmas soon followed later that year. In 2008, he appeared in Prom Night and Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla. In 2009, Idris Elba appeared in The Unborn and the massively successful Obsessed. Idris Elba is also known for starring as military figures in action movies, such as 2010's Legacy and The Losers. Although acting has certainly become a priority for Idris Elba, he continues to pursue a career in music. Drawing upon his early experiences, Idris Elba has DJed at various events, including major celebrity parties. In 2006, he released a four-track EP, and in 2009, he released a six-track EP, which contained the single, Please Be True. As a producer, Idris Elba has worked with artists such as Jay-Z, K. Michelle, Mr. Hudson, and more. As David and I started to flesh out the possibilities of this soldier, it started to take on a life of his own. I really, you know, I really thought I was going to be driving cars. He's one of the highest grossing actors in the entertainment world, as his films have cumulatively generated almost $10 billion as of 2019, with $3.9 billion coming from the United States alone. In 2018, he launched his own music label called Seven Wallace, his salary from Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw was $8 million in 2019. He has a net worth of $30 million. He has houses in Atlanta and London. He owns the following cars, a Toyota Avalon, An XE by Jaguar. A Bentley Continental GT. a Ford Fiesta F1 rally car. 